guys welcome back to my channel so today as you can see my face is pretty bare there's nothing on it um i didn't wear makeup today just because you know i didn't feel like it um but no i had like a bug bite right here and it got really like I don't know, itchy and red, and I just didn't want to put makeup on it to irritate it even more, so I haven't been wearing makeup for like the past two days. Um, but yeah, it's a good thing that it's off because in this video, I'm going to be doing a mask. And it's not any kind of mask. It is a lip mask from the drugstore. I paid, I think, $2.99 for this thing. So yeah, if you guys want to see what this lip mask has in store for us today, then just okay, keep on so watching. Okay, so this mask is from the brand Peach Slices. I've never heard of this brand. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks like this. It says Peach Slices at the top here. And the lip shape that you're seeing right now, the clear middle part, is the actual mask. I assume I just put that right over it, over like my mouth area. Um, it says Hydrating Pout Perfector. It has honey, yuzu and coconut i do not know what yuzu is but it says it's a aqua jelly lip mask on the back it says a refreshing jelly mask infused with hydrating and nourishing shea butter coconut honey yuzu and bamboo stem extract leaves lips smooth moisturized and ready for makeup or a kiss directions open by peeling the backing Apply mask to clean lips. Relax for 10 to 15 minutes. Remove mask from lips and discard. Massage remaining serum into lips for maximum hydration. Okay. So yeah, this is the packaging. This is where I open it. So yeah, let's do this. Let's see if this mask from the drugstore is a yay or a nay. Ooh, this thing smells so good. It smells like some form of fruity alcohol. <laughs> okay. Mm, I guess I just like place it on. Okay guys, so it's been 15 minutes. The directions are not clear. So let's go over this. This little piece of jelly here was on the back of this sheet. I had zero idea that that was even there. I thought it was just like one side was hard, one side was soft and it stuck to your face. Then come to find out this was like peeling off. So figured out you have to take it off. Directions are not clear whatsoever. I put this over. Mm hmm. I'm massaging it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I take it off. Actually, before I took it off, it was kind of like like the mask goes over your lips, so it's touching your skin. It was like burning me, burning my skin right here. And my lips feel softer, yes, but. I don't, I feel like they're red, if anything. They're really red. And they weren't red to begin with. And it's not like I used a scrub, you know? I just used this piece of jelly, put it over top, and that was it. I didn't really do anything. And my lips are really, really red, and my skin burns. So, with that being said, do I recommend this lip mask from the drugstore? No, I don't. Um, not at all. It smells good. That's like the only thing, but other than that, it burned my skin and my lips are really red. I'm not happy with it. So yeah, if you go and you find a lip mask that looks like this, I highly suggest you stay very far away from it. I do not recommend it whatsoever. So yeah, that is my take on that. 
I'm gonna be doing more of these because I like to find things from the drugstore that actually work. So I'm gonna keep trying to buy things and testing them out for you guys. You guys don't waste your money on this crap. So yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say except please subscribe before you leave and turn on notifications to be notified for when I post a video, which is Monday through Friday, every night. Um, yeah. So yeah, subscribe before you leave, turn on notifications, please. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.